What's up guys, Ian Sandusky back with Practical Machinist to continue our live coverage of Technology Days 2024 here just outside of Chicago. One of the things we have today is a brand new premiere and my friend Shun's gonna help me tell, tell us about it. Thank you very much for joining us. Sure. So what's um, the machine we're looking at here? Yeah, so, so this is um, one of our, our newest out of our Japanese factory. Uh, we call it NLX 2500 700 second generation. Um, and um, it's, it's our, it's our uh, bread and butter machine um, um, that comes out of our Japanese factory. Now I know that everybody loves NLXs. I've gone in places, I think the last time I was here, one gentleman was buying six of them. People love these machines. But what makes a Gen 2 a Gen 2 compared to the Gen 1? And so the biggest difference is that we have more uh, power and torque to our spindle. So our left spindle and the right spindle, we can pretty much match the spec. Oh wow. Which means uh, that the customer does not need to um, think about their process. Um, they can do same roughing, more roughing than um, the Gen 1s on oh, really? the second Gen's right spindle. So more capability on the uh, turning. Typically, your sub spindle or your secondary spindle would be a much less powerful spindle. In this case, that's not the case at all. No, no, we, that's um, you can match it, yes. And this is technically a mill turn machine as well, is it not? It is. Now, when we're talking about the Y-axis, the extended Y-axis, what are we talking about with that? So uh, the first gen, um, the Y-axis was 50 millimeters, 50 millimeters, to, um, total 100. Now we have extended that to 120. 60 on each side, Jeez. so we don't need to rotate the C-axis to get to your part. That's crazy. And this is coming with that, is that with the new Celos X control? It is with that? our newest um, Ergoline X control, um, that we call it. Yeah, so um, it's uh, much, uh, much more better um, ergonomically. Uh, touch screen is much more responsive. You have your hard keys at the bottom. And then there is a um, hybrid key, uh, what we call hybrid bar um, in, in the middle. Okay. Um, in which you can, it's an LCD button, so um, it'll change the scenery or your um, function depending on your, uh, whichever key you press. It's dynamic yes, for whatever you're doing now. It's much more one. dynamic, intuitive. Yeah. And I gotta, I gotta say, I was cheating. I did look at the sign behind us for a second there. This thing can have a four inch bore in it. Is that, does that come standard, four inch bore? So um, it is an option depending on how you would spec on your machine. But um, you can have four inch through hole on your left spindle and your right spindle as well. You can have a four inch bore on either side if you want. Either side if you wow. want. So um, if you need to swallow that big of a diameter onto your right spindle and machine it, you can do it. So you could literally have a four inch shaft, do the whole end, pass it into the other one and do the other. Absolutely. And you know, what's the total work speed, uh, work area on this? Is it roughly? Um, so the bend length here is 700. That's with the, um, the sizing around. Yep. So yeah, around that um, area. And who do you see, what kind of industries do you see really excelling with putting these kinds of machines on the floor? Um, I mean, it's um, NLX can go to um, a lot of industries, um, but with this second generation, um, it just gives out more capabilities um, right. because milling as well. Uh, we have um, improved milling, so it's pretty much you have a three-axis of a vertical mill on this machine wow. on a horizontal um, turning center. I mean, for, I'm just thinking it might even be easier to do some things in a milling configuration that you wouldn't think about doing in a turning right. center like this. So, um, capability-wise, it's like a vertical mill. Um, it's pretty much matches with our vertical uh, three-axis mill. That's absolutely insane. No, these are absolutely beautiful machines. If people want to find out more about the brand new NLX, where should they go? Uh, please go online. Um, we have our catalogs there. Um, or please contact our sales representative and they can give you all the information. Because they should come check out these brand new Gen 2s themselves, I'm sure. Thank you. Yes. And all week you guys are here till Thursday, I believe. Till Thursday. Thursday. Till Thursday. So if you get a chance, make sure you come and check this out. Make sure you stay tuned, guys. We are going to continue our live coverage.